Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here for this project. It is a project I've been excited about for a while now, and I actually had designed it for a previous house that we lived in, but I'm so glad we didn't use it there because this space right here behind me, this gigantic blank wall is gonna be perfect. Today, we are installing a window box right here under this kitchen window. It's not just your regular plain old window box. It's a design that I came up with a while back and I'm so excited because it's gonna be perfect for this space. It's a ledge style window box using some rough uh, raw wood that we have, some actually some scraps. And we're gonna dress it up with a nice flower pot and some annuals or some perennials, whatever we decide. I'm, I haven't gotten that far yet. But I'm excited because this blank wall right here is the first thing you see when you come in our driveway so once our whole landscaping project is done it will may just make it all kind of tie together and dress it up really nicely so we're going to show you not only how i designed it which i was in charge of but my husband is going to join us today and he is in charge of making sure it actually stays on the side of the house so it's not only pretty but also functional so we're gonna get started and I'll show, I'll share with you everything along the way. Hopefully it'll inspire you to do something at your own house to dress up your space too. Let's get started. All right, so this is where we're at so far. This was the, these are the corbels that I had designed a few years ago when they've been sitting in the shop, but I just sketched this out. Would I sketch it on cardboard or on paper? And then my husband was able to cut it out from there. And what is this, babe? It's about three inch wide. A rough sawn treated timber that he that we cut down and we made these corbels. So we have two of them. And then we ended up cutting this. This is also a three by 12 and same material. So it's already treated. It's ready for the outside. And we cut this about three inches bigger than the window. So there'll be a slight overhang and we'll show you that whenever we do it like a dry fitting, but that's where we're at so far. So Adam is using a drill bit, paddle bit actually it's called, to make sure that the bolt heads are going to be recessed whenever he screws them down to fasten them to the, to the corbels. When he switches the drill bit, he's going to go to a smaller paddle bit and that'll make sure it goes through and through the shelf and that'll be a drill bit that's perfect size to fit those bolts that he's going to use. Now he's gonna be drilling through and through just to mark those corbels so he'll know exactly where those bolts are gonna hit. It's finally time to fasten them on. So he's gonna get them on with a socket wrench, tighten them up and make sure they're not going anywhere. Time to see how it looks and do a quick dry fitting and it's looking just like we want it to. So we're gonna plan out exactly how we're gonna hang them. So we're gonna use these ring hangers and we're actually thinking we're gonna double them up just to make sure that they're extra strong and actually fasten them to the back of the shelf so that they can hang on the wall that way. So attaching these ring hangers is actually pretty simple. He's just gonna use the screws that came with it and he's already pre-drilled some holes so that those, those screw heads will also be recessed once it's hanging on the wall. And that'll just keep the shelf hanging flush up against the side of the house. When it comes to actually hanging the shelf, 
he was careful to make sure he got screws that would be long enough to go through and through the hardy plank on the side of the house and into that sheeting that's actually on the wall, that wood sheeting, so that it's nice and strong. Hanging it was almost as simple as hanging a picture, and once it was up there, it was definitely not going anywhere. Being the perfectionist contractor, my husband decided to add a couple more screws just to be sure. It is finally time to move on to the pretty part. Now, originally this is what I was going with. I loved the idea of the oblong shaped flower pot. I went with the terracotta color because it, it's very traditional but it gives a very southern feel and it looks great with, the, with our house and with this wood color I thought it would just be perfect. So I went with this, I planted my begonias and the scale is all wrong. It just did not feel grand enough. This wood is really thick, it's three inches thick and this pot it would just really got dwarfed once it got up on the window seal. It was about eight to ten inches smaller than the shelf so it was about three or four inches on each side and it just was not big enough. So, changed my plan <laughs> and I still am going with the terracotta but I'm going with three of these. So you can see the comparison. They're taller, they have cleaner lines which I really like because it gives a traditional feel with the terracotta but more of a modern look and I think we're gonna love that. I'm gonna do three of these on the shelf instead of the one long. So I'm gonna repot, still going with begonias. We chose begonias because they are part sun and since this is on the north side of our house, we're not gonna get full sun and a full six hours just is just never gonna happen. So we're going with a part sun plant. Begonias are great because they bloom spring, summer, and fall. So you're gonna have flowers all year and they only get about six to eight inches tall. So it's not gonna be too, too much on the window. You don't want something that's gonna just overpower your window. But you're not gonna be able to see out of it. It kind of defeats the purpose. So for a window box, begonias are a great choice unless you have full sun. So just check on that before you get started. But you, I'm gonna use the same plants. We're gonna need a little bit more dirt. I have some, um, some extra potting soil and we're gonna get these up here and hopefully we'll get the look we're going for. So, so happy with the way it turned out. I'm so glad we ended up going with these pots instead of the long one. I hope you loved this video and I hope it inspires you to do something at your own house or in your own space, something that works for you. If you have any questions about anything we used in today's video, everything will be linked in the description below. But if you have any questions, make sure you comment or, so, or message me on social media. In the meantime, make sure you're following Bloom on Instagram so you can see stories and see all the tips and tricks that I share throughout the week. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. I'm gonna go wash my hands <laughs> and I will see you right back here next Thursday with a brand new video.